Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, Takara, thank you! I hope you're having a good day too. Hi! Hello! Hi, Exemplarium! I, th I don't think I pronounced that right. <laughs> Exemplarium. Which Ace Attorney game are you on? I am on the first game on the final trial. So yes, we are right now in Lana's trial. And we are in the very, very end. Um, call me exempt. Okay, I'll call you exempt. Um, my, my day is a bit no, no, no good. Reason? Teeth extraction. Ah. Well, if you have a tooth extracted, make sure you you sleep sitting up so that the blood does not go down your throat. I know how it's like. Well, like, I have uh, a family member experience that where they uh, encountered dry socket for not uh, sleeping, um, sitting up. And also make sure not to suck on any blood and you'll be good. <laughs> Don't get choked by the blood god. Yeah! Alright, we're on the final trial. From what I see on there, it looks like we don't have a lot to go. So, this might be a short case. If so, I will have the other half. I will stream art. <clears throat> February 25th, 221 p.m. Yes, if it does not- if it takes less than two hours, I will have, uh, another thing we're going to do later. Now then. Will the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, please take the stand? Miss Lana Sky, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you are aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done in the past two years. Please, provide the court of your testimony, Miss Skye. And remember, you are under oath. You would like to hear the truth. Of course, the truth. Lana, no matter what happens, I will always be your sister. Now, with your testimony, if you will. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice the five stream stream from Jerry. Thank you, oh my gosh. That's crazy. Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with the Chief Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. Gant in the fabrication. Ooh. I worked alongside Gant for f for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dr Dark con convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Gant is Ganondorf looking- What?! <laughs> Gant is, um... He looks like, uh... What is it? I don't know how to describe him. He just has these eyes that look into your soul. That's kind of creepy. And his eyes are just like... It just swirls forever in. <laughs> I don't know if it's like swirls. It looks like a, what do you call it? Like a camera a little bit. His eyes. And then he wears glasses. And then he has dark skin with white hair. Hmm. Are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor, I'm confessing to, uh, to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But Lana! If this is true, then that means Chief Gant has nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright. You've got to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? 
She's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she really is screaming in agony. Yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing myself. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Alright, we're gonna press on everything. I worked alongside Gant for years. How many years, exactly? Ever since I made Senior Detective. Let's see, I was 24 then, that would make... Five years. Wait. You're 29? <laughs> She's the same age as me. <laughs> Detective Gant and Detective Sky were legendary partners. I personally saw that them testify in numerous cases. She must have been good coming from the same school as Mia. Damon Gant, well, I, I will read that as Demon Gant now, <laughs> was, res was a respectable detective, that's why. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. Slam's desk. But think about it, Miss Skye. You didn't murder Detective Goodman. You told me as much yesterday in jail. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Wright? Any testimony you cannot present in court is as useless as idle gossip. I stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. And... I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. Hi, Nightmare! How are you? Did you do so to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister almost became his last victim that day. Good, that's good. I'm doing good, too. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, what did I do yesterday? <laughs> I don't remember what I did yesterday. All I remember was, like, I drew and I played Mabby. <laughs> so, I, um, I did some character designing. It was a lot of fun. I was really racking my brain around it, and it was, I had uh, a lot of fun with it. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. But what did... What she did was justifiable self-defense. She wouldn't have been charged with anything. That's not the point. She was traumatized that day all because of that creep. That's why I couldn't forgive him. Lana. So that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago? When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. Th that's impossible! That's two grown men! <laughs> There's no way she could do that. Oh my gosh, I'm a clown now. Now it sees you! <laughs> hey, let me... My hands are dry. Let me put on lotion. There we go. Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems... Oh, it seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor wore a knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? But Prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. You need to listen to more true crime podcasts if you want to think a woman can't stage a crime scene by herself. But like... How can she lift another guy? I mean, I could see her dragging them and stuff, but... I don't know. She flipped the bodies around. I don't know. Maybe they're not questioning it. Maybe she is a very strong girl. <laughs> Very strong woman. The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change the statement. We can't even bet I can't! I can't! The, the heaviest I can lift is like 40, 50 pounds. That's the most, and that's half my body weight. <laughs> I can't! Oh, I can only lift half my body weight! <laughs>
You mean, Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh? That was lying on the floor a little distance away. Quick job, this is super- No! <laughs> Not bu- <laughs> This is gonna be satire! was probably knocked away in the struggle. It's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. All to protect me. So when you found the scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. I broke off the tip of Dark's knife, planted it inside the wound, and moved the Oh my gosh, that is so ridiculous! If you try to break the tip of a knife, it's gonna shatter somewhere. And you're it's gonna go in an unexpected place, and it's so dangerous to carry that. Oh no, that's I smell I smell something off. You pointed the tip of Doc's knife and you move the body? <laughs> but why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You always had a good head on your shoulders. My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask for the sake of others. Why did you plant the knife? Why did you move the body? I'm gonna say plant the knife. Why did you do that? Come now, Mr. Wright. Even you should be able to figure it out. There's no way she went that... complicated on the crime scene completely... Nah. Very well, let's add this to the witness's testimony. The reason Mr. Miss Sky fabricated the knife. I knew the tip of the weapon was buried deep in his body would be proof that we needed. According to your testimony, Prosecutor Marshall's broken knife was the murder weapon, right? Yes, and leaving it in that might point the blame away from Dark. I felt that the most efficient way to get him convicted was by having the tip of his knife found inside of the victim's body. So you... You buried it inside the victim's stab wound? Yes. Because I hated Dark for what he did. Huh? My only motivation was to get Dark convicted and it had nothing to do with Emma. So you rearranged the crime scene. Are you sure you didn't do this to keep Emma from looking like the murderer? How many times do I have to tell you, Mr. Wright? Emma didn't do it. Period. Are you so desperate to hide the fact? You're willing to risk the death sentence? She's lying. She did it so that I wouldn't be blamed for what happened. Hi, Luke. Hi, hi. How are you? In any case... As a prosecutor, what I've done is unpardonable. There's nothing I could do to make up for my actions. Mr. Wright, my sister's lying! It looks like she's determined to protect you to the end. She insists she fabricated the evidence by herself. There's no way she would have done it alone. I've gotta get Lana to talk more. If she's lying, then she's bound to slip up and make a contradiction. <clears throat> Alright, it has to be to do something with... So I asked about the tip of the knife being broken, and then the other one, I forget what the other option was. It was like moving the bodies. All right, let me see. It has to be before when she was saying she broke out the tip of the knife. There it is. All right, there we go. Let's um fast forward a little bit to get where we get the two choices. All right, where's, where's the two choices? I rearranged the crime scene. Oh, wait, 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 where's the part where... Huh. Hydrate, I will hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate! Mm. And then move the body. Okay, let me see if I can press this. Alright, there we go. They're, they're very surprised. Alright, why, why did you move the body? <clears throat> when you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was. 
by Chief Gon's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that was simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. The reason Miss Sky moved the body. The pieces of the jar shattered during the events threatened by my plan. Pieces of the jar, you mean... Yes, that wretched jar you showed us earlier. In order to show that the Dark committed the crime... I like how Edgeworth is kind of on your side with- I know, right? I love Edgeworth. I felt it would be more expendent to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was already... Of course, it had already been shattered to pieces. If you look at the crime scene, it would appear right away what happened. Neil Marshall was dead, and Dark was laying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during the struggle. I see. What's the matter, Emma? Apparently, the jar shattered at the time the crime was committed. But I have a feeling there was more to it than that. There must be a contradiction here somewhere. Anyway, I committed this fabrication completely alone. Alright, so we found a contradiction. It's right here. The pieces of the jar were shattered during the events threatened by my plan. Huh. So, let me uh, save right here. In case I'm wrong. I'm gonna try to give myself... <clears throat> until if I get uh, a game over. And then I'll look at the guide, okay? Sounds good? Save scum? <laughs> no, you do not want to go through it. I I fail a lot on this. <laughs> I've already been through this before. Hi, Buddy Bison. How are you? Alright. There's Emma Sky's Prince. These of the jar were shattered during the events that threatened my plan. Would it be this? No, it's not. Deduce, Mui, deduce! I, I already pressed everything. All right, how about if I show the jar? No, not the jar. All right. Oh, there we go. It's a jar. Miss Sky, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene where Neil Marshall was murdered? If that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life will have to be in vain. Even so, I am compelled to bring everyone's attention. A significant tra contradiction within your testimony. A contradiction in my testimony? You testified, and I quote, the pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. <clears throat> Do you have any problem with that? It's simple oversight, really. You see, a message was written on this jar with the victim's blood. Yes, the prosecutor must have been written in his final moments. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. In order for the victim to be able to write his message on the jar, it must not have yet broken before he died. <gasps> he couldn't have written Emma's name on a shattered jar. Order. Order. Your Honor, it would appear. More information is needed in regard to this jar and its bloody message. Oh, I love these bits in the game. Yeah! Something critical. Chief Prosecutor, it appears that you're in the dark as we are. That's the truth towards uh, which we are headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Very well. The witness may now continue her testimony. Nah, he was still really the puzzle sort. He saw the shattered pieces and wrote them and recognizing where they'll connect and put back together. That's impossible! That thing was shattered to oblivion! <laughs> Jar and message in blood. 
I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar. But it was dark in the room and I couldn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I made sure that I got them all. Couldn't, I could think about wiping them clean before they were discovered. You mean, you were the one who wiped away the message in blood? It was, I wasn't the chief prosecutor at the time. Even while he was bleeding, I... Bro, if he was, like, thinking that critical of, like, how to write this name that would make sense when the jar is put together, he was... He must have been using 100% of his brain energy. <laughs> so, I got them all. No, you didn't. <laughs> she didn't think Dark was the real murderer. That's why she tried to erase the real evidence. Very well. The defense may now begin his cross-examination. Alright, let's press everything. I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jaw. Check your meme channel when you can. Okay, I'll check it right now. What the heck? What is this? Huh? How did you get myself without the horns, huh? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can show this. I have to zoom out because it's very zoomed in right now. What is that? Oh. Alright, where is... Girl. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't even see the whole thing. And... Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I can't grab it. I can't grab Chrome. Buffski? What is this? <laughs> you did this so fast! Buff Mui! <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I have no words. <laughs> so, the jar was already broken. It's a miracle that thing hasn't broken earlier. It certainly looks like a feasible as defense's case, but not as feasible as the judge's judgment. Buff Natsuki from Doki Doki. Yeah, I know, I know, I've uh, played Doki Doki. I'm like, Buffski, I, I have no words. <laughs> Ice Striker! Mui head, sans horns. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean, sans horns? Sans from Undertale? I don't think sans has horns. Sans means no. Oh, I see, I see. No shot. <laughs> you wanna see, Striker? <laughs> what is... Just because I said I can lift something heavier than half my weight. <laughs> you were an ace detective who never missed a detail. Do you really have us believe? You didn't ex investigate what was written on the jar pieces. Normally, I would have. But it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. No gay! No gays! Now I feel bad! <laughs> Maybe I should get those gains. So, you didn't know your sister's name was written on the jar? No. If I had known, I would have gathered all the pieces and ground them to dust. Well, that helps my case. What a you do that for me? It seems you two may have ma might make up yet. Anyway, I just barely had enough time to move the body as it was. If something were to happen upon the scene, you'd have to lose your chance to erase the evidence. You must have been in a hurry. I was. I knew I had to destroy the evidence before anyone came. This is rather shocking. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. I'm afraid this action of yours reveals what really happened. What do you mean? You really thought Dark killed Pro Prosecutor Marshall? You wouldn't have wiped away the blood. What else could I have done in that situation? Lana, I only had a few moments. There wasn't enough time for me to do anything else but gather up the pieces. 
What was her incentive to alter the scene if it doesn't involve Emma? It did involve Emma because Emma accidentally killed Marshall. It wasn't Dark who killed Marshall. The reason why was it was an accidental kill to Marshall. Marshall was um, a co-worker of Lana's and she valued Emma over um, the truth pretty much. Yeah, I'm aware it involves Emma. She keeps insisting it doesn't involve Emma, but it's it definitely involves Emma. Emma's name was written on the jar. She was the one who killed Marshall. And Emma realized that, yes, it was me. I was the one who killed Marshall. The fragments were large, so I made sure to get them all. But how could you see with the power out? It should have been a pitch black in that office. A detective is always prepared, Mr. Wright. Even now, I always carry a pocket light with a camera on me. Thank you for the lurk! Uh, I'm saying from that from Lana's side, she's claiming she, it doesn't involve Emma, so in her scenario, what's the incentive to alter the evidence? <gasps> You're right! You're right. And she says it doesn't involve Gans either, so it's like, why would you alter the crime scene if it doesn't involve Emma? Or... Or Gans? Which, my guess, it involved Gantz and Emma. Even I carry a bottle of emergency luminol whenever I go. I never miss anything. I got every last piece. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. So you illegally rearranged the crime scene. Yes, I don't have any excuse for my actions. I'm so sorry, Lana. I didn't know. Well, your guess has been all but stated as fact. <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean that my guess has been stated? So you mean, like, um, my, uh, my guesses were stuff that was already, like, said before? I'm just, like, taking it what they're saying at face value. I've treated you so badly all this time. It's not too late. There's still plenty of time to make up. After all, we've gotten to the bottom of this incident. No doubt this day will leave a permanent stain on the history of Prosecutor's Office. More contradictions have surfaced in her testimony. Your sister's really putting up a fight. She must really care about you. No outright, I suppose. But during Gant's section, it was clearly established he was involved, and so was Emma. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, I have a cat that wants to come in. I'm gonna let him in. I heard his little meow. ran in. <laughs> that was not too high. Still, she's not going the right way. I think I finally figured out the contradictions in her testimony. There's one final possibility that might turn everything around. Alright, let's let's save scum this. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Save? I'm gonna put this here. For in case if I reach to a point where it's like it's a, like a lock, and I do not want to play this chapter all over again, which I mean like from the beginning from chapter five, not like the beginning of this trial. So I have to make sure this is a separate file. So in case this one gets locked, I at least can go back to this. All right. Uh, all I could think about was waving them clean before they were discovered. But it wasn't clean. Not completely clean. So... Hmm... Wiping them clean before they were discovered. Should I do this again? Present? Oh, yep, it is. Miss Sky, I believe this jar conceals a truth that even you were unaware of. What? 
We found the final piece of the jar in Chief Gan's safe. In Chief's safe? But how? I knew it. She really didn't know. There really was something more disturbing about that final piece. There was... Still blood on it. But the witness just testified that she gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off of them. Yes, that leaves us with only one explanation. On the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Gant got there before you. Oh, did Chief Gant put fabricated evidence? And she cleaned the fabricated evidence? Yeah, the theme! But couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces were too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. But th that may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day. <laughs> oh my gosh, Judge is us! <laughs> what? I didn't even read that. Have you forgotten, Your Honor? When this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that. There's no way a name could be have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this person was Chief Gant. At the time, he was looking for dark downstairs. Besides, even if he... The question is, is uh, if he did arrive there first, why didn't he hide the fact for two years? Emma did manslaughter again, set up the scene to make it look like Emma had done the accidental murder. <gasps> Maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? <laughs> no! <laughs> what do you have to say for that? Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. Damon Gant arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness. He proceeded to break the jar. He, he proceeded to break the jar and purposely hid one of the broken pieces. Question. What is this action called? Fabrication of evidence. But, but why would Chief Gan do that? In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Skye believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Lending her his aid, Gant helped her create an evidence that incriminated Dark. Added a lore comic to your meme. What? <laughs> Sparing Emma and their line lies the reason. Alright, let's see. What? Oh, what? What is this? Wow, how do you get like that? Every time I miss a reference, I do one push-up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no, that's me. <laughs> you guys would be like, oh my gosh, look at this reference. I'll be like, I, I don't know the reference. <laughs> oh no. I do. If only. Maybe I should make that a habit. <laughs> if I don't know the reference, I do a push-up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You're crazy, Ixi. You did so much work for them. All right, I'll hydrate. The reason why Miss Sky became Chief's puppet. Is that another cat? No, it's not. He's inside. No, I, I did it on my own. Please, sis. Please, stop trying to protect the chief. I... I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Defense attorneys make up their most foul lies to defend their clients. Foul lies? Imagine that coming from my own client. Hmm. I guess you do seem to be like the one to twist the truth. What? Wait a minute. 
What if... What if we're still smack, smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap? Now I'll take another hydro. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Lana, maybe right after all. What do you mean, Wright? So, do you, you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Miss Skye, please testify once more. But... If evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Skye, if you will. I... I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will, if you tell the truth. Very well. I will testify about what I really saw. Or I really, really saw, right? Not just another fake testimony. Alright, the witness may testify once more for the final time. Actual crime scene. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on the suit of armor's sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. I had Chief Gant help me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if it really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Unbelievable! The body was impaled on the armor's sword? You were the only one who saw that. If you only had proof. Actually, I do have proof. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. But I don't remember receiving a picture like that. Lana must have known. Wait, I must have have it. Where is it? Is it this? Let me enter it. Oh, I can't look in the back. Um, is it this? Evidence list? Alright, this is the back of the evidence list. Uh, it's this. Evidence law. No evidence shall be shown without approval of the police department. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. So wait, would it be evidence law? I see. Okay. So we're gonna have to present that. Lana must have known. Lana must have known how a terrible lawyer were. No, I'm a, I'm a good lawyer. I have guidance of the walkthroughs. <laughs> I'm a good lawyer. See, Mr. Wright, she must have faith in you. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? Let me see. seem to have remembered getting something from her then. Let's check out that evidence again. Maybe there has to be a picture in there somewhere. Yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. This one. Oh, there it is. Alright, we gotta rotate it. <gasps> oh my gosh! Hey, there's a picture here. Oh, snap. Oh my, this is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw this crime scene like this. That is a sturdy statue, I know. What if it's pee were like, feet were like stuck on the floor, I don't know. Because I contacted criminal affairs only after I rearranged everything. Lana's picture was inserted to the court record. That's <gasps> right, that picture cut out from the vest. Could that be the cloth that we found inside Chief Gant's safe? What's this? <laughs> no, it's okay, Loon. I I did not even notice it. It's fine. There is no rules against cursing. <laughs> this is a handprint, isn't it? 
that cloth. It had fingerprints on it. Whosoever fingerprints those are must be the real murderer. What? But those fingerprints, they're yours, Emma. What are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright? Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, you should be able to flush out the real murderer. Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. The actual crime scene. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled. What? Who? No way! Come now, Edgy. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. She can't. What now? You want to make me out as a bad guy, too? Can't heck yourself. <laughs> if so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined to testify. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. Ooh. That must be the risk we were talking about earlier. Just sit back, relax. And enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. God, oh my gosh! Ugh, so what? You think I'm worried? Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. Oh, we got him. Yeah, we do. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't. But someone does. Someone. So, what's your excuse? Right up. All right, I gotta mute. All right, what, what, I know what conclusive evidence he's talking about, and he's fabricating it. Will we succeed? Let's see. Why have you been keeping quiet about it? You have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall causing his death. I'm gonna save him again. I can't tell these two apart anymore. <laughs> of evidence that leaves no room for doubt. This, this is true, Mr. Wright. If I show that piece of evidence now, I'm assured to be made out as a murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now. And if you try to conceal anything, you will be on the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? Better think this through carefully. Can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall? Hmm, cannot show evidence. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I could present at this point in time. What? You lie! Chief Gant? You- you opened my safe! You- I know what you took, what was inside! The conclusive evidence! I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Wright, why don't you show them? We found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. Tell me it again. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice there's anything odd about the chest area? It looks like part- oh wait. It looks like part of it has been cut out for some reason. You mean you had this? And you're safe? She read the book too. She should know. <laughs> wait, what book? <laughs> I mean, Gant is Im implicating himself heavy here. Yeah, he- he knows the incriminating evidence, but it can be fabricated. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means you, the chief of police, have been concealing evidence. This is going to be the, the 
the biggest scandal in history of the police department. Oh, that backfired real bad. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall right on. Well, I can't just let you pin up me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what I what really happened. What? You mean you admit to it? I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. It was then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. <gasps> He's admitting to it! So you really were manipulating her! I knew Lana. If I made it look like she the blame lay on with her sister. That was when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my aid. So you assisted Miss Skye. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife in the tip of the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When I tampered with the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. This was before Lana arrived at the scene, mind you. Two pieces of evidence. You mean those items in your safe? But why? For insurance, of course. Insurance? I was sure my plan would work, but it was always the best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that a girl committed. The book that Lana gives you tells you how to avoid a gamer over in the section. Wait, wait, can I actually see if there's more to this book? Uh, oh, I can't. Darn. <laughs> you mean, you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? What do you take me for? A fool? I didn't make the police chief by dumb luck. See this jar of Agrind? I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Emma, Lana, to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jar, too? Oh, oh. Some people don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept the more item for insurance. You mean, that piece of cloth? Come on, Rido. Cough it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant. That you were hiding the cloth you cut off from the victim's vest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to do that, being Chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murder. Uh... Of course, you're a fool. You're wearing an orange suit. <laughs> what does that have to do with him, with him wearing an orange suit? I just noticed that his shirt is like uh, a tie the shape of a cross. Because he uh, plays the organ. Organ? Orange? It's coincidence? <laughs> I don't know. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murder. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have anything to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence that you could present. Foolish move, Rido. You should have known that it was before it was too late. It's been a long battle. Uh, why would he be portrayed as a murderer from anything that has happened before he arrived here? Off of fashion set? I would have to say, I do like his character design a lot. I really like how it's portrayed. Like, you could see he has a mixture of a uh, fun, nice guy, and then you could also see that he could be evil. Uh, oh, fascist. I wonder, there must be more to it than what evidence we have currently. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up the here, the victory is mine. Save. Um. Go here. Read your book again? But the book just tells me how to. Where is it? It's here? This book? Are you talking about this evidence law? 
Is there another book we have? Oh, bonus picture. We didn't even check this. Oh, I can't even do anything with this. Read it. But... Alright, let me read it. It says, No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. Don't know what it has to do with this, though. So. Wait, there's another book. Uh, Incident Files. Joe Dark, Crime, Serial Murder, Sentence, Death? Victims? Origin, Jason Knight, uh... I don't see anyone that's named, like, Damon Gant. No note of sad. Twitch bad? Huh? Oh, you didn't get the note of- No! Uh, executive investigators Damon Gant, Lana Sky, head investigator Bruce Goodman, investigators Jake Marshall, Angel Star. Um, I don't see anything. Security video. You said a book. There's only two books we have, which is the SL9 Incident Files, which is related to this, and this book, The Evidence Law. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what if I do not show any evidence? You read the book, I mean. The book. This is a book! That is a book. What do you mean? <laughs> I read both books! There's two books! These two books! And I read both of them! And this one says, like, you cannot show any evidence unless, like, uh, what is it? No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. And unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. Yes, I read the book. That's- there's only one page, it's just this page. You can't really see it if I, um, take off the horns. You can see I- there's no next button on this. And if I go to this book, this one does have, um, a next page. Oh wait, you can't even see it. Uh, let me see if I can hide myself real quick. Alright, you see, uh, th this one has a next page. The other one didn't. And it also says one out of four. But yeah, it says uh, incident for SL9, perpetrator Joe Dark, crime scene, zero murder, sentence, death. Yeah, I don't understand the book. I don't know what information I'm looking for. You already read, pa read past tense, the book. What do you mean? Do I have to look it up on the guide? <laughs> Are you... This one is not really a book. This one is just has a picture in the back of it. It doesn't have anything written here. So yeah, there's just these two books. The incident file isn't a book just because it's papers. Incident file. Okay, okay. So you're just reading this book. So yeah, I already read this book. It says, rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without approval of the police department. Um, guide? Yeah, I should look at the guide. Let me look at the guide real quick. Because I'm not getting it. <laughs> Gotta do that push-up. Uh, Alright, where's uh, the part? Solving the case. Show evidence. Oh, I see. Okay, so we do show the evidence and we present the piece of cloth. Okay. That had nothing to do with the book! <laughs> Alright, let's show the evidence. Your Honor? I do have evidence to present now. Alright then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Print, right? Yeah, someone left behind an oil stain on the fabric. Whoever it was, they must have had a really oily hand. Mr. Wright, do you think it, think about it scientifically? Huh? A more likely explanation is the person slipped and fell on a freshly waxed floor, getting wax all over their hand. Well, that would be an account that would be an account for oil, I guess. 
I don't seem so scientific about it, though. If it happens, you know, I always slip on the floor at schools after they're waxed. Huh. Okay, so we just present this. Let me verify this once more. Alright, let me hydrate. On the day of the crime, you personally cut off this piece of, of the victim's vest. Oh yes, at last you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that it immediately be sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather. There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. You mean, it couldn't have been, it could not have been forged. It was an authentic, conclusive evidence. Ho, ho, ho. You're slow on the uptake as ever, worthy. What? Think about it. Raido had this all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Where would that be? You mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that. But, Mr. Wright, do you really know? Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Very well. I will tell you. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person whose fingerprints this belongs to is... Emma Sky. Emma? Emma Sky? What? They're mine? I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, ho, ho. you're really something, Rido. You knew this girl did it all along, and you still try to pin the murder on me. So it's true. Tragic, but true. This girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. How could you? You you monster! Miss Sky, you knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you you acted like she really didn't. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Ha! <laughs> but I'm afraid it is over over my boy. Not only this trial, but your career too. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defense is convicted. Oh, have your badge, boy. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? You concealed it first, exactly. Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh? And what's that? You really killed Prosecutor Muir Marshall. What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who was a real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Sky, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction, one that proves who the real killer is. Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth. Who could have possibly contradict? Chief Gant, your tyrannical reign re ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. Oh. I don't know. Uh... Should I use the fingerprinting set? Let me see. I'm gonna take a look around. This is new Marshall's own locker. Handprint was wiped. Stabbed in the back. Knife tip in the wound. Oh. Uh, Piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. 
Can I look at the edges of this cloth? Maybe there's some blood on it. No? Okay. Isn't he hanging off the ground from the sword? Look at the other new piece of evidence. Oh, wait, you're right. Let me check. What is another piece of evidence? Okay, I'm gonna present this. I have plenty of chances. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, eat. Oh, it's not right. This is a- wait, this is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of vest was just cut off? Yes, the shirt is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all this blood on his vest, though. Is there any blood on it when looking at the cloth, he said. Oh, <gasps> wait! You're right! There is supposed to be blood! <gasps> oh my gosh! Yeah, you're right, there was supposed to be blood, and then I look at the cloth... There's no blood on this cloth. It's fabricated. That's what it is. Oh. I was thinking of a different thing. I was thinking like, oh, he must have used a bloody knife. Maybe there's blood on the edges. I didn't think about the blood on the cloth itself. This fabric is a fabrication. <laughs> exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs are no doubt were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that piece of cloth. Wait. There's no blood on it. Ah! Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword at that time. No. Wait, how did he cut it out then? Wait, was the the piece of cloth that uh, Emma pushed got cut off somehow before he got killed? Wait a minute. Do you think Gant cut that off from his own shirt and then killed him? It's corner theme, yeah! We might make a forensic scientist. Uh, you don't want me as a scientist. <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh, I found the cure to cancer! And then it's it's a virus. <laughs> uh, it's a Marshall shirt. I saw it on him. Yeah, it is Marshall's shirt. But I was like wondering, when was this thing cut out? Was it cut out after she pushed him? Was this cut out before he... Yeah, it would have to be cut out before that happened. But like... Who cut it out? Marshall? Emma? Gant? Who cut it out? N no, this, this is nonsense! Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. So, then tell me. Tell me! Who could have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Lana Sky? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor's sword. <laughs> then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. A jar that broke on purpose to leave behind a clue and make Lana believe her sister did it. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of victim's chest vest? Ironic, isn't it? Though the very act of creating insurance. You proved that you were the actual murderer. No! <laughs> wow. It's finally all over. Oh, who objected? What the? <laughs> 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 oh, that was close, Rhino. You almost had me. Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. I refute all your allegations. What do you mean, refute all your allegations? 
See, that piece of cloth is all legal evidence. Well, you hit it? What, what do you mean? Order, order. What nonsense is this? <laughs> Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Remember, Aji? Earlier, old Raido here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Raido? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I could present at this point in time. Hi, Salary! How are you? We calling this illegal? <laughs> he's, I know he's since he's getting cornered. He's calling it illegal evidence now. Read the book. Why are you telling me to read the book again? <laughs> well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be illegal evidence. But that's not fair. Oh, 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 oh. Do you really think you're the best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. I'm sorry, but you are gone. I'm afraid Mr. Grant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? True, illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? It seems at last. The time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Oh, let's go. Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? All right, let's save. Save scum, go. <laughs> Illegal evidence implies that there has been, hasn't been presenting evidence as random the entire time. Well, it was evidence that was taken from his own safe. That's probably why he's calling it illegal. But the thing is, is that he was hiding it. That you purposely and illegally concealed this piece of cloth. Ah, uh, let's see. I did not. That's what it is. I did not! Why are you telling me to read the- It explains evidence law? I read the book like four times! If I don't get it, I'm not gonna get it at all! <laughs> I read it for what it is. I admit, I refused to present it at one point. Ha <laughs> ha! So the evidence is legal. No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. <laughs> you guys are bullying me. This is what it is. <laughs> you guys are bullying me. This is the third time you're doing a, a thing about evidence in a row. The evidence law is highly relevant. I already read it. <laughs> For no, <laughs> I'm just gonna read. <laughs> huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. W what do you mean you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when pre presenting evidence. No, Achi, don't listen to his lies. There is nothing but a coward. You can't you truly believe. There is only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? When he doesn't read them. <laughs> Don't worry, I know what I have to do. I just have to present the book, right? Very well, let us send, settle this once and for all. Early refused to present the evidence. But if you can prove your con conduct it was not a violation then do so now all right it's the book here you go guys this is my proof your honor evidence law what's this i've done my homework too chief indeed emma sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth however at this point in time this is merely a piece of cloth and nothing more trust the process read the book <laughs> i've i've read the book i memorized what it said Okay, maybe not word for word, but I memorized what it was supposed to be in, in broad writing. <laughs> what? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Rule number one. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. 
I found this piece of evidence myself inside your safe. It goes without saying, I do not have the approval from the police department. Rule number two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And here is the crux of the matter. You see, at the time, it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cloth and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take a one look at this picture and... Sorry, but can you recall, when was this picture presented? That was shown only a few minutes ago. No, he's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Danny Gant. You yourself confessed to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes. No! It was then ye that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before the prosecutor marshal in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer, and the one and only person who could have been, who it could have been, Damon Gant, the killer, was you. monkeys that would like clap together their little symbols that's what it was just reminding me of <laughs> love you too Loon. we got him sorry it was too much it's okay it's okay we got it we got him maybe the real killer was the friends we made <laughs> oh my gosh damon gan our best friend you should have gotten rid of him that good for nothing scum Two years he's been snooping around the department trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted Rue to investigate the case. And he recruited Angel Star and then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred to if the evidence is transferred, I lose only my my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down as he ought. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room, and then all of a sudden, he decided to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you at least reopen the investigation, Chief? You can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. He opened his evidence locker, and as he was taking the evidence out, he said, It's not too late. I'm going to hand all this over to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was a bit taken back by his words. I had a feeling that he came to see me, but I never thought he would bring up the SL9. Wait, let me open up the door real quick. Alright, I am back. All the cats are here. I had a bad feeling he came to see me and I never thought he would bring up the SL9. That's when I saw it. That accursed knife. I couldn't just pull it out. Doing so would only lend more blood, making it impossible to hide your crime. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. 
I didn't know who might have stumbled in, so I hurried and wiped it up. I was worried so much about the floor, I didn't realize my fatal mistake. The bloody handprint. On Detective Gumshoe's locker. I used to be known as the crime computer. But everyone has to search somewhere, I guess. I was just too nervous. Ah, he has gloves on. That's why I had no fingerprints. Oh. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car? I'm sorry, I couldn't think of any other way to move the body. I broke your trunk, but what's the big deal? You make a lot more than us detectives ever will. <sighs> Leaving the prosecution's car aside, how, how could you get Miss Sky involved in all of this? Well, she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker. I felt bad for having to do it. I also didn't have the time to pick and choose what to make. So, you left the jar fragments in the glove. Yeah. It looks like it's better off being an investigator of the crimes than a committer. They all did their best to get in my way. Gotta hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. What do you stand in court? Why do you stand in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. But you killed two people! One day you'll understand. Oh, believe me, you will. You're just one man. You'll see what it really takes to bring them down once you try to go to it alone. Maybe Edward killed two- No, Edward didn't kill anybody! Well, it looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Edgy. What? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. I'm sorry too, Damon Gant. I knew you used to be, be I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator, an example to others on the force. Edgelord is on a kill streak? I mean that edge can cut. <laughs> sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are long gone now, Aji. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Now that you have Rido here, and Worthy, and with these two around, you can't go wrong. In fact, I could hear them already. The melodious sounds of a new beginning. There are two things I want you to understand. Yes? First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I have done these past two years. From the time I had Gant tell me forge evidence up until today. So. It seems that all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Sky. Couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my. What high standards you have. For a rookie. I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows? A few years from now, you might just make it to the top. Oh! Wow! I owe you my fa thanks, Mr. Wright. Sky. And you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few years. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. <laughs> it was nothing. Liar! I was wondered, worried that the pressure might break you. And yet, 
You rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. Stop it! I only did my job. Oh, he blushing! In the light of this case, it seems a good self-examining in all in order for all of us. Miss Sky, yes, Your Honor. You are innocent of murder. However, although the chief blackmailed you, the fact is that you still acted as his accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. Do you think the burden has been taken off her shoulders as she's acting more like her old self now? It's, there's something amusing about all of this. Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of these heavy chains. Aww. I haven't seen Lana smile like that ever. Well, this trial has gone on far too long already. Regarding to the charge of murder, this court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Not guilty! Party time! <laughs> that is all. The court is adjourned. February 25th, 5.03 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Clap to, clap to, clap to. <laughs> At long last, it's finally over. Uh, Emma? Why the long face? Sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook, but at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. No, that's not it. Just now, after that trial ended. I can see why my Mia Fey thought so highly of you. I can't believe we get to see me. I have finished a game of two games before. <laughs> two games on stream, which was YS9 um, and Trails of... What was it? Trails from Zero. <laughs> but you finally get to see me do it live. <laughs> I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You suffered every bit as much as I have over these past three day few days. You've done well. You know, I did my best too, but Lana didn't say a single word to me. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. <laughs> oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. <laughs> This always happens. We need to take the gum shoe. What is it? You're not. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making a detective run all the way while on duty. <laughs> what? What? What's that nickname you just gave him? Exempt. <laughs> to top it all off, you call me here, and I've been. Ha I've seen happier people at funerals. Hey, lighten up, pals. I'm only kidding. Oh, are you here because of my sister again? Nope, not this time. I came today because of you, pal. Me? That's right. I thought you would like to see someone. Lana! Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. <laughs> well, I won't tell if you won't. Emma, I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day, two years ago. <clears throat> it was the first time I panicked in my life I've ever pa Wait, it was the first time in my life I have ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you... I'm getting wrapped up in that mess. Oh, since I saw that thing moving really fast, I was like thinking it was gonna change really quick. Six. <laughs> All right, what is this video? Um. Oh, I saw the. <laughs> what is this? 
Updated autopsy report, but dubbed poor. I don't think I've seen the poorly dubbed one. Alright, let me copy and paste. Control V. It was... Let me find Chrome. Oh, this is really off. It is so off. There we go. So it should be easier to see now. Actually, objection, dumbass. <laughs> you heard? You absolute failure. Did Gumfuck not tell you? Oh, that. <laughs> Your garbage excuse of a hypothesis. Or shall There's I just so much happening on this. Fucking wrong. Why? Well, you little bitch. If you would take a look at this motherfucking update, I'll see report. <laughs> yeah. Now I remember. I there was just so much going on in that video that. <laughs> There's so much going on in that video, it's just chaos! <laughs> I asked Gan to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. But now, I realize I was wrong. I changed it that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. Every trial with Edgeworth. <laughs> I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself, but I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I... I was scared. Scared you would look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared what you would react if he knew. But sis, you were only doing it for me! No. What? I turned my back on you that day. In hiding, I believed to be the truth. I was deceiving you. Sis... I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so, I'm so sorry. But sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm happy now. You're happy? Of course. You know, sis, I always knew that one day you would come back. And now you have. No. Oh, Emma. Emma. No one can change the past. Edgy boy ain't evil. He just wanted by the book. <laughs> True. I think uh, Edgeworth is a very, uh, what do you call it? A noble, a noble man. <laughs> he likes to follow things by the rules. And sometimes fabricated evidence can be very convincing. Now, <laughs> he is now. <laughs> I think ever since the, the case with Von Dark? What was his name? Forgot his name. It was the old man that was killed someone through the um the elevator. That's when uh, Edward started acting better. <laughs> no one can change the past. The only thing we can do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Von Karma, his voice was deep. Yeah, his voice was so deep. Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? Because, in doing so, we can find the way back to our rightful path. And it is from there that we can move on toward a bigger, brighter future. At least, that's how I felt watching the two sisters make up. Mr. Wright. Mr. Gumshill. But me? Thank you both for all that you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right, Edgeworth? Uh, Edgeworth? Stop hiding and come over here. <laughs> Grumpy Puss. Where was he hiding? He just came to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> right, well, I'll be going now. Mr. Edgeworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what has happened. We were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. 
It's too late for me. No matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't correct at my mistakes. Mr. Edgeward. Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gant was right. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me were the same. One day you'll understand, and believe me, you will. You're just one man. You'll see what it comes down to take, what it takes to bring them down once you try to do it alone. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. And in order to fight crime on my own, I'd need a weapon. It's scary, but I've known it to be true for quite some time now. But Edgeworth, who knows? Given enough time, I might be able to pull something like Chief Gant did. That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Oh, are you gonna be a defend a defense? Edgeworth, don't you understand? Damon Gant and your mentor, Mon Friend Ron Karma, were both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. Let's go. Oh my gosh, Natsu! 20! 20 stream streak? Let's freaking go! Oh my gosh, it's huge! But they both made the same mistake. You said, in order to fight crime on my own, I need a weapon. That may be true, but think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. You were working together with Mr. Wright, and because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have been gone undiscovered. Trying to break barriers? <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? What, 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 um, uh, yeah! What is this, a pop quiz? Come on, Mr. Wright, show him what Lana's talking about. Evidence, huh. Something that neither Edward nor I would have been able to find on our own. Would it be? What it would have been? Something that they wouldn't have found on their own. Is it this? The parking stuff? I don't think it was conclusive. Is it this? Don't ruin the moment by getting it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna ruin the moment. I'm gonna look at the guy because I have no idea what they're trying to get here. Oh, evidence list. Wait, I would have never guessed. Ruin the moment, get it wrong. <laughs> All right, it was not the parking stuff. I thought it was gonna be the parking stuff. It's actually the evidence list. Evidence. There it is. We trusted you! <laughs> That's the picture I drew! Our counterattacks began with this. You had one half the evidence list, and I had the other. Apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, Mr. Edgeworth. It's time for me to go. Mr. Edgeworth. If you excuse me, there's still some loose ends that needs wrapping up. Take care, Chief Prosecutor. Edgeworth, what will you do now? Well, oh my gosh! Thank you for the raid! Droplet raid! Alright, let me shout out Zero Ocean. What were you doing? Oh, I'm spelling stuff wrong. At... Zero's Ocean. You were playing To the Moon. Oh, that game. Welcome, Raiders. Yeah, so uh, I've never played To the Moon, but I have heard it's a very sad game. Were you able to complete it? Yeah, right now we are. We just finished the final trial of the. First game. 
So, uh, pretty much, this is the, the ending for this game. I still have to do small parts of the game. Ooh, I have no idea what we do in the game, but that sounds really cool. I hope you have a nice, uh, feel free to take a rest and have something nice to eat and drink. Yeah, to the moon, yeah. Edgeworth, will you do now? Will you do now? What, what, oh, what will you do now? <laughs> well, whatever you do, just remember. Oh, you're too kind. You're so sweet. Thank you for sharing your community. You can let whatever will happen kill the prosecutor in you. Or you could let it help you grow. In the end, it's up to you. I know. Seems like I owe you my thanks, too, right? But what I face now is my problem. Edgeworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. You, me, kiss now? <laughs> uh, right, Edgeworth, do me now. <laughs> Farewell. No! I'd better get going, too. Okay, but I'll be by to visit soon. Seems both of us have a lot to learn and catching up to do. Here, there's a little something for you. Scientific investigation? It's the first book I've ever bought. Study it well. Edgeworth, definitely the dumb. I don't know about that. I kind of view Edgeworth as the bottom. <laughs> He's so soon. I love it. Uh. I shall go and get some sleepies. I hope you have an amazing stream and lots of smiles up ahead. Have a wonderful and amazing day. You too, thank you so much. Sleep well, Zero. He's a power bomb. Exactly, you get me. <laughs> Thanks, sis. I will. Thank you for the follow, Zero's Ocean. Oh, and RL1 10,000. Thank you so much, you two. And so, another case came to a close. As for the sisters, I have faith. Faith that their lives have only just begun. And as for me, I think it's time I started on a new journey of my own. Oh wow. A journey to rediscover myself. Bye boyfriend! <laughs> Well, uh, don't go checking off just yet, pal. Except Lana, who's going to jail. Lana's not going to jail. She's been proven not guilty. Maybe she's an accomplice, yes, but she might have some, uh, maybe, uh, a fine for what she's done. But other than that, she's, uh, she'll be fine. <laughs> huh? What is it, detective? It's just a little matter to be resolved by the chief prosecutor. You see, she wasn't supposed to be out of jail like this. But I thought, I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, it might be okay with me, but the folks at prison are a different story. Huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes. Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. Huh? Way to go, detective! I didn't even know you had a wild side. Yeah, well, <laughs> you see, Mr. Right here is the one who'll be footing the bill. Oh. Huh? Huh? What do you think I could afford it with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal. Huh? 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 Thank you, Mr. Right. You're the best. Why is it? I suddenly feel like I want to scream? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we all go to pay it off together? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Come on, guys. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're using the luminal spray. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> now she's on a jail break. Oh no, she's, she's put back in jail. I arranged for a friend of mine in Europe to take care of. I hope she'd be pleased to study over at the top corner. As for me, this affair has been pretty much ended in the days of the prosecutor's office. Still, I'll manage to find my way back to the field somehow. And then, I'll be able to investigate crimes together with Emma. Yeah! Oh my gosh, we're gonna... 
See you in epilogue. That is your true form, Design Kazuya Nuri. <laughs> Yikes, I thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they overlooked my unauthorized investigation in the chief's office. If we penalize you anymore, it'll be worse than firing you. Yup, that's what they said. It just goes to show, you can't shake me off that easily. Art. Yasu... Yasuaki Kishimoto. Oh, lots of artists, actually. Animation. Oh, yeah, they do have animations, like, for the characters. This. My new mission is to guard the main entrance and take care of the billy. Can you believe it? It's been demoted to a security guard. My partner's keeping an eye on the entrance for me today. I'll show them, though. Someday I'll make it to detective. Yes, sir. Then I'll be able to be like Duck Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> Graphics. This is probably counts as graphics. Graphics is very hard to make it look clean. Oh, what the? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. After uh, something Gant said, Wright did say if they punish Gumshoe anymore, he'll be paying them to work. <laughs> oh no! Or something into that effect. What is it? Can't you see I'm having some sh showdown with my. Miss Star managed to sneak it in this in for me. She seems to be one of the guards, it seems. Well, cowboy, it looks like you did it. You even gave Bambina back her smile. Can you make sure Billy and the gang gets their water? Does he have a horse? Looks like we won't be seeing each other for a while. As a farewell gift, I'll put a new meal on the menu, the right way lunch. The top layer tastes like a bitter defeat, but the bottom layer is as sweet as victory. Kids seem to digest turnabout theme. It's a hustle around this exam time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. They snuck a knife to, into jail for- Wait, you're right! I didn't even notice that! It was fun. Alas, I must hop off here. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Thank you! I'll never forget what that young defense lawyer said about after the trial. Let's see, what was his name again? Mr. Left? Oh my god, you already forgot my name. Anyway, what's he been doing? Or uh, something or the other for uh, how many years? Well, anyway, I've got another trial to go to, so I'd better be. Huh? Oh no, I forgot my gavel. Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> Wait, did that really look like we won't be having hair flip see each other for a while? Hmm. I bet in next game we're gonna see each other again. It seems like it's a reoccurring theme to see some uh, characters that'll, that will appear again. <gasps> Maya! <gasps> Nothing soothes the soul like French country air. Still, something I do miss hearing is your objection. Still, I can't go back until I'm a full-fledged spirit medium. Mystic Maya! Afternoon training is about to begin. Coming! Well, see you around, Nick. Oh my gosh, Maya, I didn't think I was going to see you again. I missed her. Special thanks. You know, I remember I heard that um, Phoenix Wright Games started off with like a very small team. I think it was like four people or something. I don't know. I don't have to look it up. But um, it was a bunch of students who made the game. And they try to uh, limit it to like, oh, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I brought you your tea. What's going on? 
Yeah, so it was like a couple of students and they had a limited uh, amount of space they were able to make the game. So they decided to make it a judge trial kind of game. Oh, attorney game, sorry. Thanks for coming to see me off. I can't believe I'm going to Europe. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank you so much for everything. I'm a little sad, but I'll be alright. Whenever I want to see Lana, all I have to do is open this book. And there's another murder picture inside. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh! Goes to Europe on a train from California. <laughs> Huh. That's cute. Wow! We have finished Rise from the Ashes. We completed the entirety of the first game, guys. That means it's the second game next. I'm kind of curious, but, um, wait, what? Eh? Is that it? There's no way that's it. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, I see. Okay. So we just finished Ace Attorney. The next one is called Justice for All, and I think they're the third one. Trials and Tribulations. Ah, okay. I was like thinking like, wait, how do you get to the next game? I see, I see. The localized version takes place in Los Angeles. Yeah, in japan -ifornia. All right, we just finished the entirety of the first game. Oh my gosh. The original version takes place in Japan. japan -ifornia. <laughs> Taking a train to Europe from Japan isn't better though. I know, it doesn't make sense either way. But I think I will leave it off to here. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>